Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian reviewer. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. And we are going to be doing a figure that is both creepy crawly bugs and transformers. I'm talking about the Insecticons. Oh yeah, the baddest bugs in town. And believe me, their traits were real nasty and the, some of their faces were absolutely creepy at points in the original Generation 1 cartoon. We got the leader of the Insecticons, Bombshell. And this does a good job of representing G1 Bombshell, if I do say so myself. Next on the list is Kickback. And yeah, he is a grasshopper, but you better watch out or he's going to kick, kick, kick ya. <laughs> I just love saying that. It's fun with these guys. And we got the creepiest bug of them all. It's shrapnel. And look at those eyes. Look at those pinchers. They could pinch you to pieces. <laughs> with those pinchers. But now we're going to transform the Insecticons. Let's start with Leader Bombshell. Cordian these legs down. Fold. Keep the bug legs like that. Rotate the arms on the ball joints. Turn the waist. Flip down this and then flip that up to reveal bombshells evil looking face and look at that face it's absolutely horrifying <laughs> that is why he's number one creepiest decepticon because look at that face that's like a face you see in your nightmares man <laughs> but now we're going to transform the next insecticon it's going to be kickback, if I can get shrapnel, I mean bombshell to stand, and he's standing. Next, we're going to transform bombshell, flip in the, these, flip down the head to reveal that face, rotate the head, and to have it facing forward, disconnect the arm. Rotate the arms to reveal the hands. Second verse, just like the first. Move up this socket joint. Up. Rotate the hand. Fold in the bug legs to form his feet. And there we got the kickback in the house. Even that face is absolutely gruesome. And this guy is from Titan's Return, and Bombshell is from Combiner Wars. I waited forever for them to release Bomb, for them to release Kickback. But then I got Shrapnel here from Takara Tomy, and this is from Transformers Adventure from the Robots in Disguise line. Well, that's all there is to say for bug mode. Let's transform Shrapnel into his robot mode, which is very simple to do. You're going to fold that inwards. It's been a while since I've transformed him. Oh, and I popped it out of the joint. Eh, I gotta be careful when I do that. But it's easy to snap back in and fold up the foot. And there we got the foot all done. Second verse, just like the first. Rotate this panel down. And there we got the feet all done. Next, we're going to pull out the arms. 
flip these legs back and there we got shrapnel in his robot mode fear the lightning autobots and i just love the way he said taste he he could control the lightning in the sky which is pretty cool and that's the bio for for my boy Shrapnel, kicked back. Believe me, you wouldn't want to get kicked by this this Insecticon because he'd knock you down and out for the count. That's literally what kickback does. And bombshells, cerebro shells could control other Autobots' minds. He was both evil and and twisted that is why he's pretty scary he can't control organics but he can control other autobots and make them fight each other i don't have the weapon upgrade kit for these figures but i definitely do want to get the kit for this to give them their g1 guns but i do have guns i can give them I'll give Kickback this purple gun because it matches their paint scheme pretty good. And it's a gun and a blade, which is pretty cool. We'll give Bombshell this little Gatling gun so go... <sighs> Sorry, that's my Gatling gun noise. So he could blow away some Autobots with that. And we'll give the other one to Shrapnel. And he's ready to blow away some Autobots with that. Are these worth adding to your Transformers collection? If, if you've seen Generation 1, pick these guys up. They are the most epic Insecticons in the entire Transformers line. Better than, this is better than Chop Shop. I just didn't pick it up. I have my mixed opinions about picking it up. But if I ever found Chop Shop, I'd probably throw him a, in the random figure shelf. He doesn't belong anywhere in my Generation 1 and Generation 2 collection. And, and yeah, these guys are creepy. That's why I did them for this October Scare Month. <laughs> they're creepy and they're evil. Decepticons. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Moving on and rock on and rock out.